Well, good morning. This is Travels with Dottie, and I have a tour and review of an RV park, Weathers RV Park in Eagle Nest, New Mexico. And I'm going to start this in kind of a unique way. I'm going to start, it, instead of at the front of the resort, I'm going to start at the back because the back is what really matters here. So, what we're looking at is Eagle Nest Lake. We're in northern New Mexico at 8,200 feet elevation. We don't want you to see <clears throat> this beautiful lake. And off to the right there, you could barely see at the edge of the lake is the town of Eagle Nest. All the way starting there, looking down the fence line, that's Eagle Nest. It's about a little less than a half mile away. And now I'm gonna sweep around and we're gonna see the first sets. I'm gonna come back here for a second. That first set of RVs you see over there, those are in storage. Now, as you turn towards here, we're gonna get a little sun in our face maybe in a minute. Now you see RVs that are in full hookup sites. <clears throat> now, what they've done here, and it's, um, it's notable to see that the views are not to the side of the RV. <laughs> You're, to the side, you have a view of a close neighbor. But in back of the RVs is the beautiful view that um, I just showed you. So as we work our way up here, there are um, sites that, um, this site right here does have a side view. Their door is facing the lake. That's pretty unusual. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi to Dottie here. So this is this is Diane, and um, we we met. I met her and her husband my first day here, and he's he he's right over here, um, Charlie and Diane Clay. And a funny thing happened when I first got here. I was uh, here comes here here he comes. Um, I. Uh, uh, wanted to get to my rig and the most direct roof was by their site and I, I, I made eye contact with them <laughs> and I said is it okay I would walk through your site and they said well Dottie can go anywhere she wants to and I'm like how the hell did she? then it dawned on me viewers <laughs> viewers they're viewers of the channel um, so I told them they'd be on camera and I wanted to ask you guys your thoughts about um, weather's RV resort, and when you do it, we love it. <laughs> you can hold the microphone so we can oh. hear you real well. Yeah, we we really enjoy it here. I, you won't find a nicer host running an RV park. Mm -hmm. And that's Marty, she, right? Marty, Marty is she's a is a wonderful person, and, and she she's is. the owner, she right? Is. In the she's house, the owner. Her parents actually started this, I believe. A long time ago and and she's been running it a long yeah. time she helps she'll help you do any anything way you, you can do, so. she'll make arrangements any way to help you they came a day early and she got us a spot yeah. and then she's wonderful yeah so, and yeah, what do you her. like about this resort other than we we all agree we love marty what oh, else yeah. do you like uh, oh. just the views the mountains and the weather the weather and... is wonderful People here are nice. We've met yeah. lots of really good friends yeah. here year after year. Yeah, it doesn't so. take long, you know, and you meet a lot of people and everybody's friendly. And if you need help, there's, you know, people here will help you repair yeah. something or, you know, tell you where to go to get repaired or whatever. They and and actually, I have that situation today, as a matter of fact. Oh, really? Yeah, I have a water leak that oh, I can't no. figure out. So I'm, there is apparently I was going to ask Marty about this 
Um, there's an RV repair guy in town. I was going to oh, ask her about yeah. that she, sagebrush RV repair. She would know. Yeah, yeah. she'll know. She she'll know. I'll you. ask her. But she can um, tell you a lot. so there's a question. This is, this is Andy. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Do you mind being on YouTube, Andy? Yeah. <laughs> so um, there's a question that a lot of my viewers always have when I take them through an RV resort, and people will inevitably say, "Oh, that looks horrible. Everything's too close together." And I know my answer for that, but what would your answer to them be? I, it doesn't really bother us any. I mean, we have a pretty small camper anyway, and and we have plenty of room to set chairs out and set and visit. And you're right here. You're kind of like in, yes, in yeah. the middle here. Yeah. And we can't say that you have a beautiful view from inside your rig, <laughs> and neither do I where I am. Yeah. But I take my chair out and I can oh, sit yeah. Yeah. I can sit right here yep. all afternoon if I want yeah. to. Yeah. And there's kind of a common area over here. There's you can yeah. see the out little here. shelter yeah. in that open field. I notice sunset. People mm -hmm. bring their chairs yeah. out there yes. and they watch the sunset. Yeah. Um, so I in I don't hear any noise at night no. here. No, yeah. it's, it's quiet. It's very here. quiet. Very quiet. Yeah. Not a lot of children. I I haven't seen very many children yeah. running around. Not many. We no. have two. We have two younger ones that came in yesterday. But yeah, they they're, did. they're busy fishing already. Yeah, so. they've already <laughs> left fishing and they but weren't noisy at all. No, they're it's, cold. it's a wonderful park. Yep. Yeah. It is. Well, I um I I unusually I started my um my review and tour there looking at the view saying uh -huh. this is kind of we're going to start here because this yeah. is the central feature and then i turned around and said we're going to work our way towards the front yeah. and i was hoping to run into you yeah. too well, so you thank do. thank you yes. Yes, and uh you. I'll, I'll uh i'll see you a little later after i finish my video right. nice meeting you dotty what are you doing dotty's got to have her attention oh, yeah. don't you dotty <laughs> come on dotty All right, so I mentioned kind of a common area. Let's go ahead and come up here and take a look at that. And uh, as we head toward the front, I'll show you where I'm camped. You know, the rates here, I think, uh, and don't quote me, I'll be close though. I think it's 225 a week. And um, here's kind of a common picnic table, a little, porch swing. And then out here, I noticed that people will bring their chairs out to this open area, especially late in the afternoon when, for the sunset. Um, they also have like um, occasional potlucks, things like that here. And uh, we'll cover that if we have one while we're here. So 25 a week, but if you want to stay a month and you can get a month booked, it's 495 plus I think electricity, which won't be much because let me tell you something. You're not going to be using your AC here. <laughs> it's 8,200 feet. And uh, it's cool. Very comfortable. <clears throat> the highs during the day are low to mid 70s. Um, and low to mid 70s. And um, overnight in the 40s, mid 40s. Dottie, come on, leave him alone. That's his house, come on. <clears throat> so we're coming around to the front here. This is the main road that goes through Eagle Nest and you see the beautiful mountains. And uh, <clears throat> I'll show you the, the big, the main sign out front here that you'll see from the road. There it is. And we'll show you the the office here. You better be nice. Let's use my time deal and down the road. 
Hi, Bill. And this is this is uh, Marty. She said she doesn't want to be interviewed, but I can point the camera at her and say it's Marty. What was your name, sir? Bill. Bill. Do you mind being on YouTube, Bill? No. All right. So. Bill and Stacy have real estate in town, and the and the he makes the most beautiful cedar tables and things. Oh, really? Really? Hey, I did have a question for you. Is Sagebrush RV Repair reliable? Do you know them? I've never heard of that before. Yeah, they have a website, phone number, Eagle Nest RV. Is there someone that you recommend to do mobile repair in the area? You might want to try Golden Eagle RV Park, the very one on the right hand side going out of town. Oh, yeah, I know. They used okay. to do repair there, but that's been a while back. Okay. I, I don't really know anymore. You might check with Jerry. He does some stuff. I was your maintenance guy. Yeah. I was going to ask if it's okay to hire him separately. Yes. He okay. He does everything, but he doesn't do propane. It's it's a water leak. Oh, I can't oh. figure out. I bet he could figure that out. Um, and he's right across from me, right? He's just right. Yeah. Yeah. Blue it's Jerry. Name, Jerry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, also, I've got a, a, another week for you. Another week at least. Okay, right great. There. Right there. Oh, all right. All I right. Somebody that was there to another spot. So cool. Thank you so much. Hi, so now we're we're at three weeks, and then we That's can right. uh, we can get creative for the last That's one. Right. That's right. You've been in the sun. And who knows? At the end, I may say, oh, "Can I stay even longer?" I know. Because right. <laughs> I like it here so far. Well, thank you. And your dog's name is. That's Maggie. Hi, Maggie. How old is Maggie? Is Maggie just turned 14. Hi, Maggie. She's like Kelto in the way of the dog. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Maggie, hello. <laughs> All right, we're going to shoot the rest of the park. Okay. Um, we started well, in the so back. And this will be published today. I'll have to look it up. Travels with Dottie. Travels with Dottie yeah. Okay, so it's not big, guys. This is the the row that I showed you from the back of the site. This is the way they get into these sites. <clears throat> and it's just beautiful here. So our discussion was, she said, I got you another week. I booked two weeks and it was uh, I think 225 a week. And then I asked her, hey, I, first day, I love it here. Can I stay longer? And she said, well, um, well it's tough because, um, you know, it's a their busy time of year. And uh, um, but she got me another week and we'll get to a month because it's only like $50 more plus the utilities um, for me to stay a month instead of two weeks. That's really cool. So I'm going to. Dottie's doing her business, so I'm going to pause. Okay, so um, I had to stop there. Dottie did her business, and we ran into another resident here, and I gave her a card for the channel. She'll be watching the channel. Her name's Diane. And shout out to Diane. Hey, <laughs> if you're watching this, it was really nice to meet you. They're here for the whole season. They're going to be here until September. And who knows? I may be, too, if um, I end up loving it as much as I'm thinking I'm loving it. And if I can work stuff out with Marty and maybe uh, move sites and do some dry camping to accommodate them, uh, I might be here for longer too. So um, the last thing I'll show you is the trash because I got to put Dottie's little bag in there. So this, a little complicated because this is for bear. They have bear here, so they have to be really careful. So I'm going to unhook this, pull it up, put my little bag in, and try to let it down without making a huge bang. And put the little latch back on, and we're good. And here I am. Um, and that is uh, Weathers RV Park, and I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, in the description, I'll put the web page for the RV park. And if you have any questions for me about it, um, don't feel free to ask me in the comments, and I'll answer you as best I can. And as always, 
I am honored and grateful that you watch my videos. Thank you. See you in the next one.